Please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering concepts. In this video, I will explain you how to import the model from StatPro software to ETAP software. So firstly, I will open the model in StatPro software. Then after that, I will explain you how to import that particular model to ETAP software. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering topics. Let's start our video. So here I am selecting my G plus 4 building model. So I was already explained this how to design this G plus 4 building model in my previous video by using StatPro software. You can watch that video for complete understanding of the concepts. So here I am selecting my G plus 4 building model structure. So initially the model will be open in a in uh, stat software okay now we can see this is my building model the building will be consisting of 15 meter length and 12 meter width with the height of approximately 15 meter so click on the general option for this building structure i was taken the plate thickness which is comes under approximately of 150 uh, mm and the column size just i was taken as 0 0.6 cross 0 0.4 and the beam size approximately of 0 0.4 cross 0 0.4 okay this is the building model so initially i will save this particular model okay so for importing process we have to save the model initially so click on the cancel option here click on the cancel option now we have to open the etap software so here i am selecting my etaps 2000 version 18 version software so my etaps version software will be open here like this it will be consisting of the user interface like this file edit view define something like this so if you want to do the new detailing process you have to click on the file option new model option so it will ask you to select the model okay so here i am selecting the uh, data which is related to is code provision standard system you have to select the is code or something like this depends upon your consideration you have to take this just i am selecting here like this if you want to design a new model you have to da enter the data like grid data dimension story data dimension from this data we have to go to uh, adding the material properties like grade of the concrete, grade of the steel. In the same process, we have to edit the models. But here in this case, we have to import the model from STAD software. For this, we no need to follow this step. Why? Because this process is only applicable for creating the new model in ETAP software only. So for creating the model or importing the model by using uh, STAD software to ETAP software, we have to click on the file option. In the file option, it will be consisting of the importing process. So firstly, I will explain what are the different types of the names which is existing importing process. So it will be consisting of the importing of the model, uh, importing of the model related to E2K file. So this is one of the ETAP software file. Again, ETAP's data table, base table, Excel and data table in access, data table in text file, XML file and EXR file and some drawing files also exist for uh, architectural grids and 3D uh, file model and CSI two-step file and steel detailing natural file and ISFC file and IGES file and standard strut file. You can ex export the file from STAT software or strut software. So from these options, we have to select the last option related to STAT or strut file here. Just I am selecting here. Now you can see it will ask you to read the file. So initially I will select the read file option. So from this initially we need to select the folder which we are saved the G plus 4 building structural model. So for that just I am selecting my desktop which is related to G plus 4. So we have to select this model. Click on open option. So initially it will load the uh, files which is related to number of the grid sections, number of the floor sections and uh, uh, dimensions of the beams and dimensions of the column and cross sections of the slab section and again in the same process it will select the thickness of the slab section again in the same process it will select the codal provision standard system according to IS standard okay. So after that we have to enter the data which is related to convert data okay. So here in this case we have to enter the height of the each story. So here you can see in my uh, STAT software, I was considered G plus 4 building structural model, which is nothing but the G plus, uh, which is nothing but the 5 stories here, but it is showing the same property data, but story numbers is different. In order to change the story number, just we have to enter here as G, again we have to enter here as 1, again we have to enter here as 2, again we have to enter here as 3, again we have to enter here as 4. Now you can see. It is consisting of base plus G plus 4 building structural model. So here height of the story will be consisting of 3 meter for each floor. If you want to change, you can change here. And height of the story will be elevation wise is 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. Okay. Master story and similar story and splice story and height splice. Click on OK option. So it will read the data. 
so after that it will ask you to include the section property file for selection search section properties data generally we will use uh, for uh, importing the similar kind of the properties from any other software to etabs of so which is available in program files and computers and structures and etab sections so here i am directly selecting okay option default pri file property data if you have another section property data you can select it from there just i am selecting okay option from here okay now you can see it was importing the data now it is reading total points and uh, total processing data here like this just we have to click on okay option so it will ask you to select the warnings data just click on okay so that it will uh, load the file which is related to g++ for structural model before that it will ask you to save the model in edb file edb file is nothing but it taps detailing process file okay just click on the save option here now we can see here the building structure was loaded here which is similar to this uh, stats software firstly i will show you the model in stats software Just I'm selecting uh, G plus four building structural model. Okay, now you can see it was opened here. G plus four structural model. It will be consisting of the model here like this. In the same process in ATAP software also, it will be consisting of the model here like this. Okay, but we have to check the properties whether it is having the similar kind of the properties or not. So here in this case, only the model was exported, but the same property was assigned or not. We have to check it by using define option. Click on material properties. Now we can see it will be consisting of stad uh, concrete section okay so we have to edit this uh, stad concrete section again in the same process you have to click on the section properties frame section now you can see it will be consisting of section 1 which is related to uh, some uh, column sizes dimensions again in the same process it will be consisting of section 2 which is related to column dimensions so this is the process of importing the model from stad pro software to uh, etab software firstly we have to check the model in Uh, start software then after that we have to select the file option from this we have to select the import in this we have to select the last option related to stat stru structure file so after that we have to select the file we have to read the file and we have to uh, select the options related to property data then after that we have to click on okay so that the file will be directly imported to this uh, etab software so this is the complete process if you have any queries about this video please try to text me your questions in the below comment box so that i will give you the answer for that respected questions thank you for watching my video please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates thank you